everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Uh, you'll be seeing this video on Monday because it's Monday make-alongs, um, but I'm going to be filming a couple of videos today, which is actually Sunday, um, <clears throat> and i got to do them quickly because we're off to see the girls play basketball. But uh, I'm trying to, I've decided I need to, as I finish the projects, put the video up for, do the video so I don't forget um, what I did <laughs> and when it's supposed to go up and help keep me on the right time frame for things that are not really deadlined but that I'm trying to keep in on a certain time so welcome to the yarn room um, and thank you to all of my new subscribers for joining uh, and uh, thank you even more to all of my current older subscribers for continuously coming back and making comments and being a part of my yarn journey um monday is make along monday now i finished my cardigan or my top uh it's called white sands and ocean waves there is a uh I, I made a playlist of those videos on how to do that if you want to do that uh and it's in my videos <laughs> i don't know what you call that it's in my videos anyway but there's a playlist specifically for that um, because it was a few videos and I kind of made them as I went and uh, hopefully it's uh, you can follow along with that if you want to uh, make that but I have not started a new make along Monday of my own but I am participating in uh, the hashtag yarn vacation AU from Judy at which piece crafts and on the 1st and the 15th of the month, she gets on her broomstick and takes us to a place um, based on where some of her subscribers live. So we have been to several places. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And this is a six-month thing. She does it twice a month. And I am caught up. I know. I'm so excited about that. Uh, so just real briefly to review... I start in the greater Cleveland area, so my first, I'm doing, this is the Fiber Spider, I'll link it, I don't remember what it's called, uh, but it's a Fiber Spider uh, tutorial, and I started, I do seven rows per area, so I start in my greater Cleveland city, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, which is the Cleveland Browns hometown, so we used orange and brown and white for Cleveland Browns. Then I met Judy in her location, and um, she lives by the Coral Reef, so I used Coral Reef colors. Then we went to, I can't remember the name of some place in England, which is Flower, was the Red Rose, which is my favorite flower. And then we went to Ireland, Ireland, I'm pretty sure, uh, and I used the tans for the sands and castles and cliffs. And the green, because anytime you see Ireland, it's very lush and green. And, you know, you know, leprechauns and I should, you know, pots of gold. I should have done a rainbow for pots of gold. I don't know what I was thinking. Then we went to Spain and their flag is yellow and red. And so I added a lot of yellow to help brighten me up here. And our last stop uh, where we currently are is Greece, which is so beautiful. Um, as I talked about when I showed you what colors I picked, uh, I used bobbin yarn. Uh, here's the bobbin. Uh, and I doubled it. I doubled the marl color, which is uh, of the teals. I don't know if the cake actually had uh, the endless possibilities. Make a premiere. Oh, this is the peacock bobbin. Uh, so I used the marl and matched it up with this, which was also in, oops, it's falling apart. And I put them together to make the beautiful teals out of the ocean in by Greece. Um, you see some of the ocean in the movie Mamma Mia, and it's just gorgeous. And then the background of like all the, the village is all white, uh, stucco or whatever I don't know um so <clears throat> and their flower is the calla lily <coughs> excuse me <coughs> pardon me which is also white so this is my colors this week now this is I held these 
strands together. Um, it's supposed to be a four weight, but it's a thin four weight, the bobbin yarn. Uh, it's a thick four weight when you hold them together, maybe a five. I don't know. It's a little thick, but this other blue yarn here, which was also supposed to be a four weight is a little thin too. So we made up for it here. Uh, so I really loved working with the bobbin. It's very soft as it goes through your fingers, uh, but it is kind of splitty. Everybody says that. And I, I have to agree. The white is just yarn from the Dollar Tree. I just had this little skein of white and I thought, oh, I'll throw that in there. Um, thinking that I would use more of it than I did, but I didn't. Uh, so that is this project. Thank you, Judy, so much for taking us to Greece. I've always wanted to go. Uh, I would love to see, you know, all the Greek buildings, the Parthenons, and, and all the architecture of the old, old places. And um, the, I would have a hard time getting around in Greece because I don't do stairs very well, but I totally would love to go there. So this is my Greek uh, last place is Greece. And I don't know where the next place is and I won't find out until March. But this project is done for the month. Uh, so that's a monkey off the back, right? And, and I was at first taking this to work and working on it. It is living in a Hobie bag uh, that I got uh, from Hobie when you... They sometimes give you free gifts <laughs> when you buy from them. And, or maybe I used points, I can't remember, but I got this bag and I keep the Hobie tag on it so that I remember that that's where I got it from because I have a short-term memory problem. And uh, anyway, it is living in this bag, but it started out as a work bag, but now the blanket is getting bigger and it's going to be donated to Boggy Creek Camp when it's done uh, at the end of the year when we do our camp drive, which we will still be doing. And that is with... Uh, Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2, and Billy, the Crafty Floridian. Uh, so if you have blankets that you're making and you don't know what to do with them, hang on to them till the end of the year. We're going to, again, do a Boggy Creek Drive. I don't want you to forget about that. Uh, we donated like 350 blankets last year. We would love to do more than that this year. Um, Nancy talked about, but we never really jumped on, because we all have a lot going on, uh, wanting to do like blankets per holiday, like Valentine's blankets and St. Patrick's Day blankets, you know, themed like that, which would be awesome. Blankets themed for Christmas, blankets themed for Easter. Easter. So um, just throwing a plug in there. <laughs> if you are interested in making Boggy Creek blankets and hanging on to them, uh, holiday themed would be really cool. Um, I would like to do that as well. It's past already... Uh, Valentine's and I didn't make anything special, but that doesn't mean I can't. Doesn't mean that I will either. <laughs> Not that I don't want to. Time is always of the essence. You know how that is. Um, but anyways, that is my hashtag yarn vacation AU. Uh, I did post a picture on Judy's um, Facebook group page and I posted a picture on my own Facebook group page, which I do have a Facebook group page. If you're interested, um, just come on over and join us. I'm not real active with the page, to be honest. I don't go on Facebook a whole bunch. Um, I'm just not a social media. I mean, I spend a lot of time on YouTube and then I'm, I'm social media out by then, but I do have a group page. I do go there. I try to go at least once a day and see any new posts. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but I do love to see what everybody's making, and that's always a great place to put your stuff. So jump on over. Uh, and let's see. So this is Monday Make Along. I'm still working on a project to get together for my own new Monday Make Along. And when it's together, I'll let you know. But thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for subscribing. And oh, pardon me. Good grief. <laughs> so sorry. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>